Dear listener, if you found this video, it's a sign that your guardian angels have a special message for you. In this busy world filled with daily distractions and endless responsibilities, we often overlook the significance of the seemingly mundane events in our lives. It's easy to miss the divine messages that are subtly woven into the fabric of our daily existence. Today, we bring your attention to a simple yet profound truth, someone is going to your house. Every moment is an opportunity for spiritual growth and understanding. As you read these words, consider the profound spiritual significance of this message. Someone is going to your house, and this event is more than just a physical occurrence, it is a spiritual invitation. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, we tend to forget the power of human connection and the divine potential that resides in every interaction. When someone is going to your house, it is an opportunity for you to embody the love, compassion, and kindness that are at the core of your spiritual being. It is an opportunity to embrace the divinity in the everyday. Think about the person who is coming to your house. Perhaps it's a friend, a family member, or even a stranger. Whoever they are, remember that they are not just a guest but a messenger from the Divine. They are a reflection of the Divine Presence that exists in all beings. As you open your door and welcome them into your home, you have a unique opportunity to serve as a channel of love and grace. You can offer them a warm smile, a listening ear, and a heart full of compassion. In doing so, you become an instrument of the Divine's love and a source of spiritual nourishment for both yourself and your guest. The act of welcoming someone into your home is a profound expression of hospitality, a practice deeply rooted in many spiritual traditions. It is a gesture of kindness and an acknowledgement of the interconnectedness of all living beings. When you open your door, you open your heart, and you participate in the divine dance of giving and receiving. This simple act can have a ripple effect that extends far beyond your home. The love and warmth you share with your guest can inspire them to do the same for others. In this way, the divine message of love and unity spreads like wildfire, transforming the world one heart at a time. Consider the words of the great mystic and poet Rumi, let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. When you follow the path of love and hospitality, you are drawn toward the divine light that resides within you and within all beings. In your interactions with others, you have the power to reflect the divine qualities of compassion, understanding, and forgiveness. Your house becomes a sacred space where the divine is honored and celebrated through the shared moments and conversations that take place within its walls. Moreover, when you open your heart to others, you also open your heart to God. As you serve your guests with love and humility, you are, in fact, serving the Divine Presence that dwells within each of us. In the act of welcoming, you are welcoming God into your life. The act of hospitality also reminds us of the importance of humility. When you invite someone into your home, you are not merely a host, you are a humble servant of the Divine. In this humility, you find a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment. When you realize that every moment is an opportunity to connect with the Divine through your interactions with others, 
your life takes on a new dimension. The ordinary becomes extraordinary, and the mundane becomes sacred. You start to see the divine presence in every face you encounter, in every voice you hear, and in every heart that beats. So, when someone is going to your house, remember that it is a divine appointment. Embrace it with an open heart and an open mind. See the sacredness in the seemingly ordinary, and let your actions be a reflection of the love and kindness that God has bestowed upon you. In conclusion, someone is going to your house, and it is a sacred occasion. Embrace it as an opportunity to connect with the divine, to serve as a channel of love and grace, and to honor the interconnectedness of all living beings. Let your home be a sanctuary where the divine is celebrated in every interaction. And in doing so, you will find that God's presence is not only in your house, but in your heart and in the hearts of all those you encounter.